Penny is back. I'm so happy now that I've had time to process it. The, the joy that this bean provides not only to me but to everyone. It's just, it's so good. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of fucked up the last few days. It's just one of those things where you wanna find good people and have good situations and be in good scenarios and just have the good things that, that light you up. And then you have situations where the good things and good people get taken from you for nothing. That is what pisses me off. And man, Rooster Teeth, y'all did not pull any punches. I'm salty about it. I'm glad she's back. But like I said in the last video, don't, 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 don't. let me find out that something else happens to our dear Penny. Okay? Let's get back into it. This time with the intro. All right, let's get into it. Okay, turn this off. Keep dreaming about a better world. You keep wishing for some clarity. Yeah. Always hoping that a light Okay, you know. okay. It's going to save you from this gravity. Oh, you said it, baby. You're old enough for some romantic life. Maybe you'll wake up in a world of charm. Oh, but with oh my God, look at the trip. You don't have to dream. Your life's a mess. Okay, Iron Boy. Oh hell no! Listen here, boys! I'm glad I avoided watching the intro because my semblance would have popped off from seeing Aesops, from seeing Ironwood, from seeing Watts, like messing with the technology. All of that would have been surmised before I even seen anything, so thank goodness I skipped it. Okay, okay! I would have been spoiled the and Granny's right there! Granny? Okay, okay, breaking it down, breaking it down, new drip gang. Mm -hmm. See, I would have lost my fucking mind! Oh, bro! Imagine if I saw the intro. Or actually, no, the first volume, the first episode, chapter, whatever. They don't show you the intro until after the chapter is done. So we probably wouldn't even known about Penny, but man, never mind. Sweet Okay. Okay. Oh, they're fighting. Welcome back to Ruby. Uh, uh chapter four, pop and circumstance. Woo, that was fire. <laughs> Okay, let me remember what's happening. This is a, what is this? What's coming in right now? Oh, they're going to, ooh. Now, see, here's my thing. Now, with them putting or replacing Beacon Tower on top of Amity Arena, I feel like Atlas or the council or Ironwood, they're gonna make it seem like this is another extension of Atlas, right? Yeah, this is a whole new kingdom, but it's gonna be under Atlas, right? Expanding Atlas. Like, that's just my vibe, but let's see what's gonna happen. I just don't feel good all the way. I thought that said 911. Okay. Okay, a socks. <laughs> you guys were incredible. Oh, the way you took down that geist without even <laughs> to plan your tactics out, you just knew exactly what to do. Well, 
ASOPs are hand-picked to perfectly complement one another, so we can focus on our assets and leave our liabilities behind. Some of us are all asset, zero liability. <laughs> what? Yeah? Think I've got some liabilities, Elm? Your brains, for one. <laughs> ah! Aw, oh, okay. Well, they seem cool. You did ask. Ooh. Hi! Ooh. Do you need a new best friend? <laughs> Her name can be... I love it! Perfect complimentary teamwork. Oh, yeah. I want to have my friends' backs just like that. Oh. Friends? <laughs> this isn't the schoolyard, kid. Thunder, <laughs> I love it! But I mean, when you go through so much with someone, it kind of changes things, doesn't it? We get along well enough, sure. Ooh. I count on them to keep me alive. Ooh. Oh, they here we go. The same. But that's the job. We don't confuse the two. Mm. See, no, no, don't be planting no seeds like that. Uh-uh. Y'all, Ruby, Team Ruby, stay together. This is a sisterhood, a family bond now. Like, do not get separated again. Okay? Stop it. Stop! Stop! Speaking of the job, this is the first week. Duty ever beckons. You all hang back a second. Okay. Anything already, sir? What do you guys want to do when we get back to Atlas? Sightseeing? Oh, what should we visit first? <sighs> How about our buds? Oh, come on, guys! This is a great time to go exploring. We haven't done that in so long. Ooh. Ruby, we just explored a whole continent on foot before flying to this one. Well, yeah, but it was only the boring parts. <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss your fun demeanor, hey. but... Okay. Heads up. Can I get the team leaders over here? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Ooh. You too, Crow. I need you on the ground, but be subtle. If people see too many huntsmen milling around, they'll get nervous. Okay. And Clover, don't take Murrow. <laughs> okay. New problems in Mantle? More of the same, unfortunately. Someone in Mantle is taking up public leaders who speak out against Atlas. Specifically, people who speak out against me. So he's dead! It didn't look like a pattern at first, but this is the third murder of its kind in the last week. Wait a minute. That's the guy that rode with us after we were arrested. He died? Your opposition in Mantle dropping dead isn't exactly a good look for you, huh? I'm not really worried about my public image, but it is causing unrest. I think someone's trying to frame me, and by extension, Atlas. And it's working. Well, if it wasn't for the embargo making everybody so mad, people probably wouldn't be so quick to blame you for everything else. Damn. <clears throat> Damn! S sir. He's right. No, no, you're right. Things in Mantle have been hard to manage lately. I'm not blind to its issues. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. With the launch of this mobile communications tower, and tensions down in Mantle, I think there's a lot of good your teams can do here. What? Hmm? Already? Here? No, it's fine. Let him land. I'll deal with him myself. Excuse me? More Mantle problems? No. This one's an Atlas problem. Uh, so let me not... get this straight. No, sir! I told you you was going to get the head! You are not escaping this! Ring the bell! Free for all! You really thought this was a game? You really thought you was going to escape the heads? No, sir. Welcome to round two. In addition to this nonsensical embargo of yours crippling my business, you've also decided you have the authority to commandeer private property. When the council hears about this, you will never- Actually, I've already informed them. Uh -huh. As this is now the site of a classified military operation, it didn't even require a vote. Didn't require a vote? Oh, you mad? You might want to brush up on council law before you lose this upcoming election, John. Okay, I win! Now, I've allowed you to land here once as a courtesy. The next time, it won't be a friendly reception. 
Lately, you seem to forget who your friends really are. What? I'm going to get that council seat, James, and maybe then you'll... Wow! You. No, you did... Who? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my, oh, my blood, my blood, my blood is rising. My blood pressure is rising. Jacques! You roped my missing daughter into these schemes of yours, too? How long has she been back in Atlas? Did Winter know about this? It was this? my decision to come here. Just like it was my decision to leave. Uh-huh! Or have you forgotten all about that? If you think I'm one to forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me. I know exactly the kind of man you are. You better tell him, girl! How dare you speak to me that way! I have half a mind to- Half a mind to what, Shark? Ironwood, put him down! Put him down! You can have Glinda, sorry! <laughs> you know, I didn't mean it like that, it was just, you know, you gotta move- Where's my camera? You gotta move on! <laughs> no, your mother was devastated when you left. Oh, hell no! Didn't leave her room for days. You know how she gets when she's upset. Oh, this is so... no. No. I knew one day you would overextend your reach. I didn't come here to beg for an abandoned mine. I came here to thank you. For personally handing me the noose to hang you. Uh, excuse me? Oh! But what? What? You'll regret this. So these are the little friends you threw everything away for. Oh, hell no. Not friends. Family. <laughs> Noises. Not wishing... I, uh, uh, kicking the bucket on people, because I do believe in karma. Universe, Universe please, please hear me out. I'm being out. specific. If Jacques were to just not be in the show anymore, <laughs> like, I, I, I'd be, I'd be extremely happy about that. This is some shit! Like... Oh, now you show up, Winter. Wow. You just missed Father. I wouldn't say I missed. Yeah! Surprise! Penny! That scared me though, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, did we not start yet? <sighs> Apparently, we haven't. <laughs> start what? Start, yeah, start with, aww, PTSD. It goes without saying that this arena holds a significance to all of us. A significance, It's only fitting that we should be able to reconvene here, now when the world needs to be brought together more than ever. The road you traveled from our first meeting hasn't been easy. You fought for your school and your friends at Beacon. You fought for the world and the innocent at Haven Academy and beyond. You face down terrors people can't even fathom. That's not the behavior of students. It's the behavior of huntsmen and huntresses. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. huh? Wait. What is this? What? Are being I need a Bluetooth because this is this is I mean these are Bluetooth. I I just need time and not to be lazy. <laughs> just like that, they are huntsmen and huntresses. Give it up. Give it up for the class of all you seven. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. They grow up so fast. And granted your huntsman licenses. Oh my gosh. Today. I know this is coming a little ahead of schedule, but hmm. brothers know you deserve it. I only regret that I couldn't do something a little more ceremonious for the occasion. Beautiful. I, we were honored, General Ironwood, but you really don't have Please. to do Please, with the threat of Salem still out there and tensions rising in our kingdom, I certainly could use more trustworthy fighters by my side. I should be so lucky to have all of you. Ah, oh, the news. That they're holding information. It's okay. It's a big moment. And what better way than to celebrate here? When this tower is ready and communications are back up and running, we'll tell the world about Salem and face down whatever comes at us after that. Together. Okay.
That's just about all the pomp I have in me. If you'll excuse me, I have to get back to running this operation. Um, well then, enjoy the cake. <laughs> okay. What Your cake? speech outros are improving, sir. After everything we've been through, I almost forgot this is what I wanted in the first place. Right! When Beacon fell, I didn't think this would even be possible. It almost feels trivial now. Jeez, guys, lighten up a little. Enjoy yourselves for a change. You've earned it. We can't. Finally! Someone said it. Let's kill some cake, huh? Because I can eat two slices before Ren even eats one. Who says I can't? Who says it, huh? Nobody. Nora, nobody is arguing with you about this. <laughs> this is... <laughs> oh! day for you, huh, kiddo? It's definitely a lot to take in. Which part? All Finally of it. getting the Atlas part? Getting your license part? Or the not quite disclosing everything to Ironwood part? <laughs> or all of the above? All of it. <laughs> all of the above. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Or if I'm no different from Oz. Ruby, Oz only trusted himself with the whole truth. You're trusting others, but you're making sure they prove themselves first. Mm. I think that's a pretty big difference. That is. I hope so. That's a good taste. This says I'm a huntress now, but I don't feel like I know much more than I did at Beacon. Damn. <laughs> that feeling never goes away. Your mom, Summer, would be proud of you. Her last mission. Was that another Oz secret? Hmm. There were a lot of those back in our day. But this one was a summer secret. Mm. When she didn't come back, Ospin seemed just as in the dark as myself and your father. Still, who knows what he may have hidden from us over the years. What do you think she would have done? If she learned the truth about Salem, that she can't be destroyed. Pressed on, I think. Like you. She was always the best of us. Bit of a brat, though. Oh. <laughs> hey, I like brats. Hey! <laughs> hey, Ruby! Come check this out! Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that a mission board? It's an app now? <gasps> Can we ride a Megalith? Stop an underground crime ring? Do I get to go undercover? Oh my god. Nice, Hey, you guys smell that? <laughs> Smells like fresh meat. What? That's odd. I don't smell meat. <laughs> Neither do I. <sighs> you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You've only been official for an hour now, and you're already looking for huntsman work? To be fair, we've been official for a whole 57 minutes. I'd like to remind you all that the real mission here is ensuring the successful launch of the communications tower. True, but we can also keep training and improving by helping where we can. There you go. <sighs> the enthusiasm of youths! Well, it's hard to argue with that. Okay, let me show you how it works. Ooh, here's an important one. Who wants to volunteer? Yes. All right. We need someone to escort children to pre-primary school down in Mantle. There's not actually any danger, but the parents fret, and that attracts Grimm. Mm. Perfect. Thanks. Uh, Juan? Juan? Felipe! Jim? Close enough, I guess. <laughs> wow. My first huntsman mission. <gasps> Next! Jeez. A massive saber is loose in the Mantle sewers. We need two brave warriors to flush it out. Oh. Hey, hey, what? But why didn't I get a choice for that one? <laughs> <laughs> We're all laughing, but then, yep, the switch up. Now I'm pissed. What you got to say? Actually, don't say a damn thing. Just sit there and be stupid. Father, you, um, have a visitor. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed. Why did you let them in? I didn't. Okay, so, Whitley. I kind of, kind of apologize for the stuff that I said 
in the previous volumes. Kinda! He let himself in. He let himself in. Is it Klein? A spitting image of you, this lad, Chuck. Creepily so, I might add. He let himself in. He's definitely inherited your... <laughs> affect. Why y'all look the same? Almost. Arthur. Whitley, leave us. And shut the door. Ain't no way y'all are about to have a... When y'all about to have a... Am I a seal? <laughs> I said shut the door. Dr. Eggman. I... You're supposed to be dead. That what? is what I wanted people to think. You're right. However, I've heard things about you too, Jacques. Namely, that you have an ironwood problem. <laughs> that bastard is costing me more money every day with this embargo. I'd lay off every employee in Mantle if I wasn't trying to get their damn votes for this council seat. What if I said you could have your cake? And eat it too. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The way he said that, stop it. Is that the end? Wow. 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 See, more seeds are being planted. I don't like it. Chapter 5, Sparks. Where's my camera? I have a new setup, so I'm confused. Salutations! Good morning, Team Ruby. Good morning, Penny. Penny. What time is it even? Time to be huntresses, of course. You right. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> Nuts and bolts is back, baby! Uh, <laughs> what? Eyes up, Huntsman. Time to get used to the new normal in Atlas. Your top priority is Amity Tower. That means protecting supply runs from Grimm and bandits, and protecting the site itself. Diverting all construction resources to Amity Tower means there are going to be gaps in Mantle's defenses against Grimm. They'll need help on the perimeter. Hold on. So they're at Amity Arena. Why would they not go back to Beacon or reference Beacon right now? Because. The Amity Arena is in Vale. No! They're in Vale right now, right? No! Hey, have you two ever thought about branching out a little? You always pair up, but I don't know if your style's good. Yeah! Mind your business! See, he don't know about Bumblebee. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, keep it up. Yeah, but there's still plenty to do in the mantle itself. Yeah. Oh, another casserole. That's I think you'll find the everyone baby. appreciates having a huntsman around. It's totally the haircut. You're of course Maybe free to enjoy your time off as you see fit. Whatever helps you take the edge off. You might not hear Oz anymore, Oscar, but that doesn't mean we can't try to jog him loose. But what did you have in mind? Training! The huntsman around you can be an invaluable resource. If you're willing to pay attention. Have you ever thought about extending your aura? But make no mistake, school's over. You get to choose what type of huntsman or huntress you are. Oh, that's her aura! Their aura! Sorry! <laughs> oh, so, nice. what's it gonna be? Excuse me. Split in the eye. Are you supposed to be fast? Your boyfriend's actually holding his own. Where's all that energy when he's around you? Are this the other teammates? Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's up, Neon?
<laughs> okay! Wow, that was amazing! You guys have really improved since the final tournament. And that cute farm boy had a few surprises for us, too. Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> well, you really had us on our toes. Thought you had us there for a second. Whew. Wait, what's their name now? Is it, is it still Junior? Junor? Ranj? <laughs> no, because the J is first, so it's Jorn? J O R N? Jorn? <laughs> oh, come on. It was way more than a second. You guys busy? Want to grab some lunch? I Do we? I could eat a sandwich the size of Cobalt. Cobalt? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> We'd love to, but, um. Duty calls. Maybe some other time? No worries. The next time you're free, just mm -hmm. let us know. Yeah, next time. Oh my god. There's still time Froyo? for sandwiches, right? <sighs> There's always time for sandwiches, Nora. Board, but why can't we just use an airship to take these supplies to Amity? The components for Amity Tower's construction are far too heavy. All that weight would require precious dust we should be saving for the launch itself, and the grim that will come after. It just makes for long, very long supply. Don't run. you say I'm At tired! Tundra is scenic. <laughs> totally. I'm afraid to. I've been smiling a lot this episode, uh, or this video. I'm scared. Ruby, <laughs> I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with you in a professional capacity. As friends. <laughs> Me too, Penny. <laughs> Relationships are so interesting and varied. Speaking of friends, have you been able to make any new ones? Since, you know... Now that I'm the official protector of Mantle, I don't really have a team anymore. General Ironwood says I don't have time for friends. Oh! Uh, how do you feel about that? I feel like I wish I could do both the things I need to do and the things I want to do. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? <laughs> yeah, it should That's be normal. That's about as normal as it gets, Penny. Everything going all right up there? Just fine, Uncle Crow. Crow, how's your drinking? I Not a win again. Maybe we should call it quits. Shut up and deal. <laughs> <laughs> your niece sure is one of a kind, huh? They all are. Been through a lot together. That's a good thing they had someone to look up to and get them through it. Not everyone is so lucky. I don't know about all that. Thanks, by the way. For looking out for them. You and your team. What good is saving the world without another generation waiting in the wings? Hopefully they'll leave Remnant better than we left it for them. <laughs> Once upon a time, I'd have drank to that. You shouldn't do that, you know? I don't worry, I, I, I gave that up. I meant deflect a compliment. Those kids wouldn't be where they are without you. You've had more of an effect on them than you realize. Uh, Uncle That's too Crow. real. Way What's to go, going on? Grim? So no. he gave up drinking. Semblance, Worse. I told you! You two with me, Penny, stay put and keep an eye on our six. We may need an element of surprise. Affirmative. I will plan for six possible outcomes. <laughs> I miss Penny so much. Oh, this is the happiness I needed. <gasps> What's her name? Fuck! Uh, Robin? Oh. All right, ladies. Time to show them our teeth. Show them your teeth. Ah. Robin! Well, if it isn't Mantle's hometown hero, is there a reason you're blocking an official military transport? Clover, I'm so glad you're here. Maybe you can help me understand why this truck that's supposed to be taking construction materials to fix Mantle's outer wall is on its way to the middle of nowhere. Mm. Are you lost? <laughs> it's pretty easy to get turned around out here in the tundra. Everything looks the same. Thanks for checking up on us, though. Mm. We'll be on our way now. I was hoping you'd play it straight with me. What's Ironwood doing with Amity at the old SDC mine? Uh-oh. Oh, that. Just giving her an annual checkup. 
The next Vital Festival isn't anytime soon. Only automated drones and a few select Atlas scientists are allowed out here. And Amity's getting invaluable resources we need in Mantle to protect against Grimm. Oh, yeah, I know. Seems like more than just a checkup. You've been scoping it out. We can't fix the wall without the supplies on these trucks. I think Mantle deserves to know what they're being used for. Mm. It doesn't have to be difficult. Just tell me. I'm going to have to pass on that. Hmm. Hmm. How about you, Pipsqueak? Five o'clock shadow? Either of you want to tell me why Mantle's being put at risk for Ironwood's <laughs> pet project? We're trying to help Mantle. We That's need. That's enough, Robin. As a potential councilwoman, you should probably focus on the election. Uh, as a potential what now? Hey! As a potential councilwoman, you should probably focus on the election instead of harassing huntsmen. Now. It's time to let us pass. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay. I think you've misjudged the situation. One way or another, these supplies are going to get where they're supposed to go. Mantle. Then I suggest you do that through the proper legal channels as a councilwoman. If you get elected. Mm. Now, where's the fun in that? I knew it! Robin Hill, I would like to politely ask that you call off the Huntresses approaching the rear of the truck. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. Joanna, May! Whoa! The protector of Mantle, huh? Let us through, please. Don't hurt Penny. <sighs> Wait for it. Robin. Good luck at the election. That was a close one. You're telling me. They they let him through, for real! What now? I want to know why Amity Coliseum is suddenly so important. Whatever it takes. Oh boy. Your technique still has those maddening, sloppy touches. But you've learned how to make them work for you. Oh my god. You've made them your own. Wow. That was very close to a compliment. <laughs> I didn't intend it that way. <laughs> we all make mistakes, I guess. <laughs> oh. oh! That's cute. You've grown up a bit, haven't you? You're not the little girl clinging to the family name anymore. Since Beacon, I haven't really had a choice. Father's view of the world no longer matches with mine. Whatever the case, I am glad to see you've moved on. Distancing myself from the Schnee name is the most beneficial thing I've ever done. I swear. We can move forward without him. Mm -hmm. Together. Yes, you will. I know General Ironwood would have a place for you. And we gonna beat his ass. <laughs> I would be grateful to him if he did. But I'm not sure I could accept. Uh... Really? It's just... Our kingdom isn't supposed to be like this. Ain't this side. Beautiful and withdrawn. We should be opening our borders to help the world, not closing them down. We Path will, though. Once we've weathered the storm, we will. I know the general hasn't done everything perfectly, but he's doing what he thinks is right. Everybody thinks what they're doing is right. I was about to say, what do you know but is right? Usually, they're just looking out for themselves and their secrets. Ironwood isn't keeping secrets. Not from me. Can you be sure? <sighs> Come with me. 
There's something I want to show you. I'm about to say, because he's not keeping secrets from you, but Winter is keeping secrets from y'all. So what did Ironwood tell Winter? Let's find out. Meanwhile, Weiss is keeping secrets from y'all at the same time. Everybody keeping secrets! <laughs> oh, boy. My eyes are watering. This sound, this music in the back is nasty. Damn cameras everywhere. If this is the Winter Maiden. The Winter Ma My semblance is crazy, y'all. That's the Winter Maiden. She could pass any day now. Okay, but... Until that happens, I'm the only person Freya's allowed to see. My, my head hurts. My head hurts. Because I'm pretty sure I called this many volumes ago. I had made a joke that the Fall Maiden had like the Fall name in it. And it's Cinder Fall. Spring Maiden, Vernal, was Spring. But it ended up being Raven. Oh my god. And I was like, what? Is Winter the Fall Maiden? I was saying it's a joke. You mean to tell me that Winter might become the next Winter Maiden? And this is where my brain hurts because with all that going on, allegedly, it's time to reach either Summer's Alive, which I don't know how, or who's the Summer Maiden? Who is the Summer Maiden? Ironwood's chosen you to be the next. Yup, look at that. When, when she dies. Wow. How long have you known? Since Beacon fell. Doesn't it bother you? He practically groomed your whole military career. It did at first, when the General first proposed it to me. But the more I thought about it, the more I saw it as a privilege. A chance to do some real good for Atlas. For Remnant. But your destiny was chosen for you, without your input. Perhaps. But I'm choosing it now. Mm. I've made it my own, and I take great pride in it. That has nothing to do with father or the general. That belongs to me. Mm. Power of will. Both had to do a little bit of that. Carving out our own way. <laughs> I suppose we have. Wow. Check Speaking of the family oh. name. What is he doing? If I'm elected councilman, I've made it no secret that I will be opposing General Ironwood and his senseless embargo that is crippling all of Atlas. It is my belief that these measures are not only reckless, but criminal. With no I'm sorry for pausing again, but I already know how this is gonna go. They're gonna have the election. Jacques is gonna win because Dr. Watts is going to corrupt the whole voting system giving the votes to freaking shock and he's gonna have to see oh my god no and he's going up against robin now i don't know much about robin but i automatically need her to win it's allowed to enter or leave the kingdom i know many are suffering and my family has been weathering the same storm as many of you wow effective immediately I'm forced to shut down all non-essential SDC operations. What? 
If elected to office, I will make the changes necessary to fix what Ironwood has No, made. that is busted! I hope you ask yourself before the vote, can you trust anyone else to stop Ironwood? No, don't will be Robin Hill be able to get your jobs back? Now I think I think Father may have just provided the spark that's going to set this kingdom on fire. Now the Grim is there's a riot! Now the Grim is coming! This oh no! Bro! This man, I don't even care that my headphone jack just came out. This man needs to be, oh man, bro, bro, bro. Oh, this is some shit. Ain't no way you're about to just corner and, oh my God. There is no way that you are about to suffocate Mantle for your political gain. I'm about to smack this man so hard in the face. Listen, usually this is the part where I give you my opinions and feelings and all that kind of shit after the video was done or near the end of the video. Right now, I'm gonna keep it real short because I just came from vacation and bro, I'm just trying to keep my freaking sanity in check. I was with nature. It was beautiful. I actually touched grass, and it was magnificent. Y'all should do it too. <laughs> but let's just, let's simmer down, because I know from this point and going forward, my blood pressure is just going to keep rising. So let's just cap it right now. Let's work on our internal structures so I don't destroy myself in game. I love you guys, I'm gonna see you on next week. No matter how much it hurts, move forward. Keep that PMA, check out glitzgrave.com for more. And I'm gonna see y'all next Friday. And, and, and get get your boxing gloves. Get your electrolytes. Get your pre-workout, your post-workout. Bring your water because we are running the fade to Jock Snee.